It means the difference between them, it means the drilling fluid is gonna be shallow. That's why we do take a sample, do the measurement to be to be prepared in advance. Yeah? As a company man, you need to take care of it, all the, the mud engineer, okay, what's happening, yeah? It's a very important parameter. You know, the you know mud, it is like a blood. Yeah? If you have a blood in the body, mud in the, in the, in the, if the blood is okay, no sugar, no fat, no high pressure, but all is like a body. If you can control this uh, blood, if you have a clean blood, have it done. the body will perform properly. The mud is also the same. We have lots of intra. Into like salt, the salt will affect. Yeah? We have a salt, we have an oil, you should be careful. At the cutting, really cuttings, you know, at the mother, this treatment is very important. Okay, what well, the Reynolds number is the rho V D. Rho value density, V is the velocity, D is the time, you know, the distance between the place or between the or call it the clearance between the drill pipe OD and the vapor, and mu is the viscosity. This Reynolds give us the with the rain or zone, you can understand it's the laminar flow or tubular flow. Yeah? Dimensionless number which determines flow is laminar or tubular. If the, it's, it's, this rain or number, yeah? This rain or number RE is less than 2100, all are the dimensionless, yeah? There's no dimension for that. It's gonna be laminar. If it's a, more than 2100, it's gonna be tubular. Yeah. And it's a good picture, you know, more shear rate, you know, there's a shear stress and shear rate are correspond together. But we have a different scope, yeah? We have a type of flow. Here, they have a plug flow, laminar flow, and tubeless. Maybe we are not familiar with the plug flow. Plug flow, it's happened mostly the, when you are cementing, you know, a high density cement. You call it the plug flow. Also, we are doing as a practice, you have a high vis peel and low vis peel. Yeah? First, you pump, for example, maybe 30 value low vis, and then pumping high vis. This high vis has come to behave like a platform. You know, where we do have a, we are not sure about the whole cleaning, we pump it the low vis, make the turbulent flow, all the cutting to be agitated you know, and suspended in the hole, and then start pumping the high vis peel. This high vis is like a platform to do the 100% sweeping. As a good sweeping to clean, make sure that all the cutting bring to the surface. That's why if you look at here, in the small shear rate, you know, we have a, a, a shear system. There's a transition to the laminar flow, yeah? Look at the velocity profile, yeah? It's a flat. This one is a hyperbolic, and the, for the turbulence flow, there's no any, any shape or, or the velocity profile. And with the higher the uh, Reynolds number. Here is another term we call it the friction uh, factor. It's a dimensionless term related to Reynolds number to roughness factor of the pipe. This is this F is divided by the turbulent flow. You know, when we have a when we have we want to calculate the pressure drop, we have this F and there is a chart for that which is the software right now, they are calculating automatically and uh, giving to us. Which is related Reynolds number to the roughness. Look at here, yeah? If you have a, S, look at here, it's a good picture actually. We have a, we have a velocity or we have a flow, we can say a smooth surface, you can see we have a, a laminar, we have a transition and the turbulent gonna be look like this. There's no profile. A slightly rough profile we have look like this. Transition gonna be very small, laminar gonna be less. And look, when it's extremely rough, when the surface is extremely rough, at very small velocity it start the two plus one. This is this F or friction factor is related, relate the Reynolds number to the roughness, which is shows that the turbulency, yeah. Here very smooth. At higher velocity, turbulent flow will start. We are always thinking about the turbulent flow. It's related to the velocity, and also uh, uh, relate to the to the rhological property. But the another 
the factor is the roughness of the circuit. If the more I smooth, less, we're gonna be delay the tubular flow. And when the roughness is increased, tubular flow will stop. Because you know this this roughness will uh, there is inter there is a high interaction with the molecules of the of the fluids and the, the surface and do not lead to move in the layers, yeah, with the parallel layers. If you go look at here, yeah, we said turbulent fluids look like this. For example, for the fluid region, we have turbulent, laminar, and plug, as we discussed. Pilogram will look like this. We have a laminar flow and we have a turbulent flow. We have a short lecture about the cement and we'll discuss this one uh, more actually. And there's for sure there's always transition. We have a transition from plug to the laminar and from the laminar to turbulent flow. As I review this one, we discussed this.